Okay, so the point of today's video is to see if the 378.78 driver update really does offer the performance gain that NVIDIA claimed in DX12 titles. So the first title up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now when comparing the actual benchmark, there was no real difference, but when it came to gameplay, we saw a rise of about 6 FPS. Out of all the games tested, the one with the best results was Hitman, which saw a nice bump of 10 frames across the board. Maybe Nvidia is actually onto something, because 10 frames after an update? <laughs> it's almost unheard of. Next we're on to Gears of War 4, and I'm going to start by saying that I'm very disappointed in the gains here, due to the fact that it's the only game that is DX12 only. Coming in at about 3 frames per second of a boost, that basically falls into margin of error territory, so nothing to see here. The Division is a title that doesn't get benched too much anymore, but it does in fact have DX12 functionality. And yet again, we see a 10 FPS bump, which does allow it to hit that 60 FPS threshold. The last game we have here today is Total War Warhammer. Now when it came to the in-game benchmark, the results were the same with 72 FPS before and after the update. But in my gameplay testing, I got a higher score pre-update. This may be due to differences in what was actually happening on the battlefield, so take this one with a grain of salt since the five previously run benches were all within one frame of each other. All in all, there definitely are gains seen in four of the five titles tested when it comes to gameplay. And with it being a driver update, I definitely have to say thanks to Nvidia, because if there are gains to be gotten, they definitely are giving it to us. It may be something they promised a long, long time ago, but it's here, and it's free. So have at it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.